uzalishaji kwa njia ya upasuaji unachukua muda wa dakika 40 tu na hutolewa kwa wanawake wanaopata matatizo wanapotaka kujifungua Japo la kushangaza ni kwa wengi wa wanawake nchini wanachagua njia hii ya uzalishaji kuepuka masaa marefu ya maumivu wanapotaka kuzaa na kutumia mbinu hii inayochukua muda mfupi Lakini linaloniwacha kinywa wazi nikiwa na maswali chungu nzima ni je wanawake hawa wanachagua mfumo huu wanajua mikosi yake basi katika pilka pilka zangu za kutaka kujua masaibu na wanayopitia wanawake wanaojifungua kwa njia upasuaji nilidondoka na timu yangu hadi eneo la Mundoro lilioko Gatundu kaunti ya Embu Nakutana naye na Uminjeri mama wa mtoto mmoja na hasiti kutueleza ni yake ya kutaka kujifungua tena kwa njia ya upasuaji Alipoteza mwanaye wa kwanza baada kukasi kutatu na maumivu jambo lilomtamausho kwa dhiki na hata kutotaka kutojifungua tena kwa njia kawaida. Last one I lost my kid. Mm -hmm. I labored for three days. You labored for three days? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was induced but the cervix wasn't dilating. I was induced again so I got the baby. Mm -hmm. But he didn't cry. Okay. Hata hivyo ujauzito wake wa pili alipanga kujifungua na njia upasuaji akijaribu bahati ya mtende na mambo hayakumwendea kama alivyotarajia. It's not that easy but I'm pressing on. You're pressing on. Yeah. Japo mpaka wa leo anaomba dua na kuridhia kila kukicha kwa kumpata mwanae bila kumpoteza. I would rather have CS and have my baby. Then go for normal delivery and then lose the baby. Laurine Mwangangi kwa upande mwingine ni mama wa mtoto wa kiume na hakusita pia kutusimulia safari yake. People who have normal delivery can actually go back to the gym and work out and very soon. Mm -hmm. But us, we have to wait. It, you don't even know at what point you're supposed to go back to go to the gym or maybe kufunga tumbo. Huku maazimio yake makuu yakiwa ni kupata mtoto wake wa pili kwa njia ya kawaida huku akina kilikuwa alijipata katika hali uliomlazimu kufanya upasuaji ili kuokoa maisha ya mwanae na aliyoyapitia yalimfanya kutosahau siku hiyo maishani. I, I would like to go for a normal delivery. Everybody would. <laughs> Nobody really wants to be in the, in the theater but this is what I I I, I say mm -hmm. that for the sake of the safety of the baby and I, if it happens that I cannot deliver normally, it's okay. Kufanyiwa upasuaji au hata kuzalisha kwa njia ya kawaida na kupata maumivu ya masaa marefu na yamewafanya wengi wa wanawake wajawazito kukimbilia upasuaji. Kulingana na bima ya afya, idadi ya wanawake wanaokimbilia uzalishaji wa upasuaji imeongezeka na kwa sasa Ipo sawa na wale wanaozaa kwa njia kawaida. Kati ya mwaka wa 2014 na 2015, bima hiyo ya afya iliwasilisha idadi ya wanawake 1061,420 waliofanyiwa uzalishaji wa kawaida huku 2073,73 sawia na 34% wakifanyiwa upasuaji. Na katika rekodi nyingine zinazoonyesha ongezeko la wanawake wajawazito walojifungua na njia ya upasuaji kwa 1024492 kutoka 1022411 mwaka 2016. Katika mahojiano na daktari wa upasuaji Wycliffe Musalia wa hospitali ya Kenyatta anatueleza jinsi hii ya uzalishaji ni nzuri na salama kwa kuokoa maisha ya mama na mtoto katika uzalishaji wake. Lakini kuongezeko la wanawake wengi kutumia mbinu hii alikuwa na haya kusema It is a safe procedure under uh, skilled uh, care is usually uh, done in theater and uh, some form of anesthesia to relieve pain This anesthesia could be either what we call general anesthesia where you are made to sleep or commonly under spinal anesthesia where we uh, push the medicine through your back and the lower half 
of your tummy together with the legs is made numb. And thereafter, uh, the doctor is able to make an incision on your lower tummy and able to remove the baby from the uterus. Njia ya uzalishaji kwa upasuaji haigarimu mtu chungu mwingi. Daktari wengi katika hospitali za kibinafsi Mathlan Zauma huona kama njia raisi na muafaka. Huku wengine wakilifanya jambo raisi na la kawaida kwa nake wajawazito wakifahamu kwa mbinu hii ya uzalishaji ugarimu pakubwa kifedha ikilinganishwa na uzalishaji wa kawaida. Private sector of course, uh, sometimes um, each uh, client uh, there is respect for autonomy. So if a client insists that they would like to have a serian delivery, then uh, the doctor cannot force them through uh, a process that they don't want. Katika hospitali ya Mombasa Hospital, uzalishaji ya kawaida unagarimu shilingi elfu hamsini na tano ilihali uzalishaji uwanche upasuaji unagarimu shilingi elfu miyamuja na hamsini hadi elfu miyambili. Ikifuata karibu na hospitali ya Metropolitan hapa jiji Nairobi na hata ya mata hapa jiji Nairobi. Uzalishaji wa kawaida unajulikana kuwa waharaka wakati wa kupona kwa mwanamke mjamzito akishajifungua anaweza kurejea shughuli zake za kila siku japo kwa yule anezalisha kwa njia upasuaji hayana maumivu maumivu hujiri baada upasuaji na kwa wengine maumivu hayo huwasumbua maisha yao yote yakiwazuia kufanya baadhi ya shughuli tofauti tofauti Wanasema kingi ya duniani hakina haramu na bila shaka mfumo mpya huu wa uzalishaji kupitia upasuaji umeza kuokoa maisha ya mama wengi mama mzaa chema na vile vile yule mtoto malaika anaoleta ulimwenguni lakini wanasema kila chombo na wimbili hapa kwa sasa kwenye jamii yetu mama wengine wanachukua mfumo huu kama mtindo au tuseme fasheni milia kisienya Siakago, County Embu.